Hello and welcome to another vlog where I film what I get up to and sometimes what this guy gets up to on a weekly basis. We're starting the vlog as ever down the allotment but before we do anything we need to go grab some compost from the garden centre so let's go and do that. Well done. That is a lot of compost. Time to replicate this one by filling this bed up. So I think just like that, we've got the bed finally completed. You might be a little bit confused as to why there's a pot in the middle, but basically the carrots are growing in the pot because apparently carrots don't fare too well in the ground here. So they're in the middle. And then much to my Twitch chat's enjoyment, I think, as Benjamin is currently digging holes, I am gonna be planting some onions because I think these ones have actually outgrown their little homes. So let's move them from here and into these beds. So basically, onions need to go in the ground about 10 centimeters apart. I've never done this before. I'm not a huge fan of gardening, to be honest. I like the DIY stuff, but we're just gonna basically just dig out, take the onions, get all the roots like this, probably separate and get some rid of this, this compost, spread out a little bit, and then bury it like that. Ta-da! We make a hole, make a hole. That's it, daddy make a hole. Yeah. Yeah. That's all the onions planted. As ever, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Google told me to put them 10 centimeters apart. Uh, obviously when I was doing it with Benjamin, there was way too much of a gap. So I've kind of filled in the space. Now there's a bit of empty space like around like here-ish. I mean, there are two actually there, but the uh, the actual carrots in the middle there, they actually require a net. So I'm gonna go grab a net now and put a net back over that. A net has now been acquired and is over the carrots. But right, that's all for the allotment for the day. Time for the next task, which is to take this little one down to a park because every week I promise I'll take him. And I keep failing on that promise. So I'm a man of my word or a dad of his word. So let's go to the park. All right, we have arrived at King George's Park in Barford. This is actually where I grew up. Uh, I used to spend a lot of time with my nans uh, and it never used to have a massive park at it, but it does now. So uh, it's actually quite quiet, which is nice for Benjamin as well. He looks dead excited. Obviously I can't film too much for obvious reasons because uh, parents and kids in here and stuff, but yeah, let's go to the park. You climb up, you're gonna cross the bridge. Go down, slide ready. <laughs> Let go. <laughs> Yay. I think this is enough to make anybody dizzy. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll come down here with an actual skateboard and do it, see if I could still skate. <laughs> it's only been like, you know, 10 years since I last stood on a skateboard. But to be honest, it could probably make for a really funny video. <laughs> Successful trip to the park, and now we're going on a little bit of a nature wonder. Because somewhere down this trail, there's actually some llamas. So let's see if we can spot some llamas. Funny story, I actually grew up in Bathford and I didn't fall in this swamp, but I definitely felt in a swamp. Growing up, I used to play in the woods all the time and mum bought me this like, really like woolly jumper for christmas i think it was christmas anyway and it was white i look like one of those cricket jumpers you wear and uh yeah i, I may have uh, fell in a swamp with that with that on and i can't say my nan was best impressed or my mum for that man funny story to look back on though there is one thing for sure it's like walking around here man i miss i miss being like out in the country all the time the great pleasures of just being able to wander in the wilderness with basically no one around it's perfectly quiet well we've reached the end of the path because this kind of just goes onto a field at this point there's no llamas i was promised llamas on this trip well to be fair last time i came there were llamas no it's not really llamas just cheap daddy's gonna get you <laughs> what's this ben you're gonna blow it <sighs> can't help but remember that TikTok of the last dandelion <laughs> too funny oh look a dandelion must be the last one this season well, annoyingly, in very typical British weather, the sun has gone behind the clouds and it's starting to get quite cold. I'm really hoping that it doesn't start raining because that would suck, but I think Benjamin wants to go back to the park. So let's go see if we can play on the swings for a little bit before it starts to rain. Fortunately, I always bring a spare set of clothes, so he doesn't have a jumper, but a, a jacket and some, uh, some trousers should do the job. You want to go up there? I don't know about that one, Benji. Got me a bit, a bit small for that. Let's give you bouncy. I know there's no <laughs> bouncing up and down. Hello. Hello. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready? Woohoo! Uh, I don't actually know when conquer season is, but that is a big conquer tree and it would be quite cool. One day to come down here when I take Benjamin to the park to get some conkers and, uh, and make some conkers with Benjamin. 
All right, before that massive cloud of rain comes towards us, I think it's time to head back to the car. And I think I want to go to home base and have a look at some stuff for the fences down at the allotment. So let's go do that. Back to our second home at home base. We actually have a couple of options with the fencing. We can put this across the fencing. It's like a kind of like a temporary, instead of around a tree, it would actually just act as a fence. Kind of like that there. But if I can, we'll do a wooden fence. That's the, that's the best plan. Oh, I actually forgot. All of the wood is actually in here and I'm looking for something kind of like this to run as railings across between each post. And then we'll actually like nail or screw like the slats to it and it'll kind of look like a picket fence. It looks like they're here, they're 550, so we're gonna keep on shopping. Well, sadly, uh, home base didn't exactly have what I was looking for. And with the weather being ever so gloomy, it's really strange because right now it's like 18 degrees, but it's cloudy as beans. So I think we're gonna head back home and uh, probably throw to the next day where we'll be picking up Jess's new car, which has been waiting for a while now, but we're finally gonna go do it. Oh, it's a brand new day. And we've arrived at MG. Because it's time to say goodbye to Jess's old car. And it's time to say hello to Jess's new car. So it's a lot bigger than her bath, but this is just a new car. It's nice and spacious on the inside and with Benji's new seat now and uh, we've actually got doors in the back, we can get him in and out a lot easier. And oh, 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 would you look at this boot? We've got some stuff in it now, but damn, this is a lot of space. But I think for today, we're actually gonna drive over to Kenilworth Castle and uh, have a wander around the castle for a little bit because Jess wants to get used to a car a little bit and drive it, so we're gonna go do that. Oh, we have arrived at good old Kenilworth Castle. It's not quite got the, the same grand entrance that Warwick Castle has, but uh, it's still standing. It's crazy how long these things have stood the test of time. Although, just about. I have actually been here a few times because I grew up in Kenilworth. Um, but yeah, I actually, uh, funny story, actually the maypole dance here. I completely forgot about that. But yeah, when I was a kid uh, and I went to primary school, I had to do like a maypole dance where you run around with ribbon. I don't know. Uh, Benji, you ready to explore? You can do it! Oh dear, yay! It is actually mad how big and spacious like all of these rooms are. I'm pretty sure that this place was built, or this specific building was built for Elizabeth I when she visited. I think it's called the Leicester building? Could be wrong. Oh my god, it's such a long way to get up here. But yeah, it was Leicester's building and the Great Tower. You know, I didn't actually think I was scared of heights, but Jesus, we are such a long way up. Like seriously, look how far we are. But that being said, the view is outstanding up here. It's so tempted to do some really cool transition where I drop my phone and I get it down there, but I don't think that's worth the risk. Let's have a look out here, Benji. Hold Daddy's hand now. <gasps> look out there. Who's out there? Wow. Damn, this is the keep, which looks awesome. Holy moly, talk about a drop. So all the way up there to all the way down there, I would not want to get stuck down. Is there a door down there? Surely there is. I can't see one, but that's crazy. What do you see, Benji? Do you see anything? Do you see stuff out there? Look how mad the wall looks. Over the years, it's just eroded away. It's slowly but surely decaying. I mean, how frequently they have to actually like replace bits in here. And you can see how they just every now and again come in and just place new bricks in. You can see the markings on the wall. I think this may be the most complete room we've been in so far. It's crazy. Look at the ceilings. through here that looks very ominous oh dear harry potter vibes from in here this is the great hall look how cool this is can't even really get the scale how big this room is it's actually massive which is what she said the one thing that always amazes me about places like this when you come visit them is how different the door sizes are like every door is like fit for purpose and it makes you think that everyone's like actually really small back in the day and sometimes you get like doors like this which are actually like normal like doors like quite big um but damn well i didn't where's this go Where's this going? I'm gonna see how this goes. Literally walking up what feels like the world's most narrow staircase. Jesus. I believe that is the Queen's Gardens. Very pretty around there. Well, Benjamin fell over and I completely forgot to film what was up there. But this is what it looks like from the bottom. <laughs> Daddy's gonna get you. Daddy's got you. Who's in the door, Benji? Who's at the door? Open the door and this is a pathway to the gardens. So here's a look at what the allotment's gonna look like. <laughs> Eventually, <laughs> we hope. But they've actually boarded all of their like planters with, uh, with strawberries, which is kind of cool. And all the pretty flowers. And this is the birdhouse. And look how close we can get. I don't even know what that is. Does anyone know? Leave it in the comments. It looks like a chicken, but it's definitely not. 
Maybe it is a chicken. You know, I'll have to ask my mum. Jeez, and that's a marble fountain, which I bet is worth so much money. Really cool though. Well, he may have fell over, but he's definitely happy now with his ice cream. Do you like it? Mmm, yummy. But I think that concludes our tour of the of Kenilworth Castle. Bye bye castle. Bye bye castle. Oh, well, it's a brand new day and it's time for me to end this vlog. This car is so big and it's got so many spots. I don't even need a mount to put my phone in. I can just literally place it places in the car. Because literally there, there's pockets for everything in this car. Well, I am going to end this vlog. So if you've enjoyed the video, please give the video a thumbs up and appreciate that. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week on Friday at 6pm for the next vlog. So I'll catch you guys there. Peace, peace. Give me the brown. Ferociously clicking helps. <laughs> I used to do that when catching Pokemon. It worked! Ha! Fucking cat. <laughs>